Well, hello, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome to your readings at the round table for your monthly numerology. November. It's this is going to be a transitional month, and I I'm very excited about it. I truly am. Although <clears throat> I feel like I'm already experiencing the transitional stuff happening right now because it's two days before the lunar eclipse and it's hot outside. It is hot outside. I was expecting to be recording at the end of October and wearing long sleeves. So I had like a whole nother outfit planned, whole nother, like whole everything, hairstyle, everything planned. And I had to just stop and roll with it. <clears throat> That's what November is going to be like for you. It's going to be like that for all of us. It's a transitional time and we're just going to have to be like, okay, this is unexpected, but I'm going to roll with it. Everything's going to be fine. And we're also going to see like how much my hair falls as I uh, record, I batch my recordings. So we're going to see how far it falls throughout the day. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Make sure you check out Life Path 44 to see how much my hair is falling. I'm kidding. But November really is going to be a transitional month. Part of the reason that we have a transitional month happening in November is because everyone's month is going to be their life path number. So if you're a life path one, you're, you're going to have a one month. If you're a life path six, you're going to have a six month. This is, this is truly a great time. We had this in February, but this time I feel like it's, it's giving us a transition so that we can work through the last of all the stuff that we were meant to work through in this seven year, in this year of introspection and contemplation and rest, this spiritual connection year, this spiritual expansion and spiritual growth year, we're going to be working through the end, the little bit of an end of that because December for us is going to be a bridge to get us to January where again, January of 2024, our month is going to be our life path number. So it's a transitional month and we're going to see December be a bridge to 2024. I'm actually very excited about it. There's no massive things going on this month, astrologically speaking. I mean, we're out of eclipse season. We've had a lot of transitional things happen this year. A lot of planets that our slow moving planets have moved into different signs. So a lot of different stuff has, is, has gone on in 2023. I'll sit here and say, oh my gosh, November is going to be really chill. But as soon as I say that, you know, there's going to be major like ugh, upheavals and stuff. But I will tell you what we have for um, astrology. On the 4th of November, we have Saturn going direct at 3.03 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is, a, this is good news. More good news is on the 8th, we have Venus leaving its uncomfortable place in Virgo and moving into Libra. And Venus is very happy in Libra. Venus rules Libra as well as Taurus. So Venus is going to be very happy and it's going to improve everyone's like uh, romantic life. That's how we'll put it. Uh, on the 10th, we have Mercury going into Sagittarius. Mercury really likes being in Sagittarius. Mercury likes being in a fire sign. So, you know, it just uh, speeds them up a little bit. On the 13th, we have the new moon in Scorpio at 427 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's when it hits its peak. Love this time. I really do. Um, on the 22nd, we have the sun moving into Sagittarius more fire in the sky, and then joining that Sagittarius party with Mercury and the sun is Mars moving into Sagittarius on the 24th. Yeah, there's the party. On the 27th, we have the full moon in Gemini at 416 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and this is usually a really fun moon. Like the full moon in Gemini is usually a lot of fun. It's like frivolity. I mean, it's, it should be a good party. So we'll see about that, right? We end November with four planets, including North Node in fire. And yes, I know North Node isn't a planet. Um, then we have three planets in earth, two in water and one planet in air. 
if you have a lot of air in your chart, you may feel a little bit of a drought at this time. You may feel like, you know, a little bit of lack or whatever, but it's okay. It's like a, it's the up and down, you know, it's the, it's the cyclic thing. This happens with all of our signs from time to time. And you know, it, it just, it's happening, but it's okay. It's okay. Give it another few weeks and things will change for the better for air. Um, remember November is, um, the month of November is everyone's life path number. So if you, again, if you're a two, then November is going to be a two for you. And this is a very transitional month and I'm very excited about it. I truly am. So let's kick back and enjoy the start of the holiday season. I know. We have Diwali happening in November, and of course the U.S. has Thanksgiving. Should be fun. Should be a fun, fun month. So let's see what your life path is, what your life path situation is going to be for you in November. Hello, Life Path 3, and welcome to your readings at the round table for your monthly numerology. I'm Jennifer. This, this is Mouse, who is playing with my crystals. He does this all the time, all the time. I mean, he, you know, he sleeps in my office, so sometimes in the mornings I come down here and my crystals look like they've been having a party, and they, they have. They've been having a party with Mouse, because he's like like dusted them all over the, all over the desk. Mm -hmm. um, this is the lovely Jasmine. I think you can see a tiny little bit of her. There she is. Gang's all here, Life Path 3. It's fantastic. Even Badger, he's outside of the window. Okay, Life Path 3. As I said in the, as I said in the introduction, um, this month is a three month for you. Everybody's month of November is their life path number. So this month is a three month for you. Um, and it gives me an opportunity to really talk to you about like, like more about you and like all the nuances of your number. So to start off with the mantra of the three is I am creativity and vibrant expression, sharing my authentic voice freely. This is so important for a three. Oh my gosh. Because the first thing, first and foremost about a three is communication of thoughts and emotions. Being able to communicate your thoughts and emotions authentically and honestly is so, so important. Um, Self-expression, whether it's in art or music or writing or speaking engagements is so important. It truly is. Being able to speak your truth, mm, when you can't speak your truth, when you can't be your authentic self, it really, really can mess up your gut. Um, this is also um, a time of imagination, embracing that imaginative side of yourself, being like having that artistic bent. Even if you're an accountant, Life Path 3, which not a lot of threes are, but some are. Even if you are an accountant or a business person, you really have to bring in that artistic side that maybe you do crafts or maybe you do something in your home that is just helps you to express that artistic nature of yourself. Or maybe you do writing on the side or you have a blog. Yeah, it's very important that you bring that in. Um, because really, so creative, so creative. And you need to dip into that a lot. Um, it really makes you more cheerful. It makes you a more rounded person, especially because your life path and especially when you're in a three month or a three year, you're going to have a lot of family ups and downs. You're going to experience that. You're going to have, you know, maybe you have a real connection to one of your parents and not the other, or you have a real connection to one of your siblings, but not another or a connection to your cousins and maybe not with your siblings. There's a lot of like family ups and downs here. 
Um, because it's, it's all about expression. It's all about expression for you, 100%. The great thing about the three, though, is that you are the embodiment of the yin and yang coming together. You're the embodiment of the one and the two coming together, the masculine and the feminine. So you probably have a lot of balance with that in your life of the masculine and the feminine. Um, the biggest thing about the three, and this is what I tell people if they're in a three month or a three year, or if you are a life path three, freedom of thoughts and speech does not and should not cause injury to others, especially for personal gain. I'm going to get to this more when I start talking about your shadow side and we all have shadow sides. I'm not criticizing. I promise. Um, <clears throat> I think my hair is already falling and we're only at life path three. Mm. But the lesson of the three in your lifetime, the lesson of the three is communicating emotions openly and letting go of judgments of the self and of others. Now, here is one of the shadow sides of the three. It's when we judge ourselves so harshly, three, when this is, and I really think this is like kind of the number one shadow side here because everything else sort of builds off of this. When you judge yourself so harshly, eventually that judgment, that feel of judgment is going to overflow into everyone and everything else. And it starts with you. It starts within yourself. So keep that in mind when you start recognizing that you're really critical of, I don't know, the people at Walmart or how Target set up their fruit display. I don't know, uh, you know, what's going on at Kroger or your local grocery store or, you know, why your cat is flicking its tail right across my, my, my microphone wire. Why is he doing this? But when you start being so critical of that, start ratcheting it back and say, you know what? I'm not critical of that mom in carpool. What, what is really going on? And start looking at yourself. What have you been criticizing yourself about? What have you been so critical and judging of yourself about? Break that down. The other things will dissipate as you start to examine that about yourself. Now, I say this because that means you're not able to speak your truth openly or communicate openly. If you start getting into that place of judgment, especially judging yourself harshly or judging someone else harshly, you, that means that you are not, um, you're not in a place of communicating openly. So when you're not in a place of being able to speak your truth or communicating openly, this brings in a lot of exaggerations, feeling very pessimistic. And here's the golden one that's really bad, getting gossipy. And we've all seen that. We've all seen that, right? Where you've had somebody gossiping about you, you know, when you walked into work and you've heard them down the hall, just like meh, 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 at the, the owner or the manager in the manager's office, you know, telling just horrible things about you. And you're like, that's not true. Because maybe, maybe they were also a three and they weren't able to communicate for themselves openly and truthfully. So they set that in motion about gossiping. This is not where you want to be three. You are absolutely better than that. Embrace it. And if you find yourself in a gossipy place and it happens to us in three years, it really does. Um, 2019 was a three year. Yeah. Um, 2019 was a three year. If we are in a three month, think about that and feeling that, that energy, because you're going to be doubling down on that. You're going to be doubling down on those feelings. Okay. Um, three people are destined to lead cheerful, optimistic lives, achieving success that they deserve by the nature of their ability to accept the bad in life along with the good. Do you see? It's balance, it's harmony, it's balance and harmony. It's the one and two coming together. It's the yin and yang coming together three. This is how amazing and powerful you can be. And having this month of a three in a transitional time, 
I think this is wonderful for you. I truly do. If you find yourself dipping into those shadow sides, we all do it 100% right here. I'm a Virgo. You can't find somebody like more critical than a Virgo. Well, you might if they're a triple Virgo. <laughs> but the thing is, we all do it. But if you find that you've been in the shadow effects more than in the light attributes of your number, rethink it. Rethink it. Work within this because this is a transitional time. And you're just so awesome, three. Come on. Isn't that right, Mouse? What do you think? Okay. I am reading from the usual suspects, the usual card decks that I do, uh, the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck, and excuse me, Mouse, excuse me, I'm so sorry, and the Healing Oracle Crystal reading cards, um, you know, my go-to cards for numerology, I will switch over the camera so that you guys can see your card around the cat. You know, just been waiting for him to do this all day. Ooh, the butterfly maiden transformation. Oh my gosh, three. This is so incredible. Um, I love this. Oh, this is great. Okay. Sorry, let me just get these out of the way of my cat. Can't have anything like disrupt him, right, mouse? Mm-mm-mm. Yes, hello. Okay. Can't really spread the cards far but ooh, labradorite take action oh my gosh one of the hearts that I have that was gifted to me from my beautiful friend Laura uh, is a labradorite heart mm, so lovely okay all right yes mouse I see you I think we all see you baby yeah all right, let's do Labradorite. You know, these are one of the two decks that I read from the book because they just have so much information in these. Okay, Labradorite is the stone of magic, which, is, which assists you to connect to and awaken the gifts that lie within your soul. Labradorite works closely with the element of wind, inviting you to receive the medicine of moving forward and taking the right action in your life. Huh, take action. I can't get the page to turn. I'm so sorry, Life Path 3. Okay, it allows you to connect to the mystery and the magic of life. It assists in awakening the magic of your soul brings deep awareness to your spiritual knowledge, allowing it to manifest in your day-to-day -day life. It brings spiritual insight, supports you to integrate spiritual experiences into the physical world, and opens and activates the third eye. Wow, that's amazing. And these cards match, by the way. I love that. And your other card is Butterfly Maiden, which is transformation. <clears throat> You are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. Okay. I love this. I truly do. Life Path 3, I think this is an amazing time for you. I think this is, a, it is probably challenging, but I think that this is an amazing time for you. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what 2024 brings for you and what the bridge month of December is going to, uh, what you're going to be doing in December, too. What do you think, Mouse? I think he agrees. 
Thank you so much for joining me today, Life Path 3. Um, I so appreciate your support on my channel. Don't forget to watch your zodiac signs, your zodiac readings that I do on, for the full moon and the new moon every month. And of course, I'm doing some new reviewed at the round tables. I'm re-recording some that I've done in the past year and <clears throat> doing just some brand new stuff too. So make sure you check that out. Thank you again. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful month of November. And until we see each other next, get out there and make your magic. Bye.